This is going to be a simple Google Ads tutorial so you can understand how Google Ads works and you can have all the knowledge that you need to launch your first Google Ad. It's very, very beginner friendly. I'm also gonna give you access at the end to all the resources that I used to learn in depth how to really make money using Google Ads. And in honor of Isaac, who I'm showing you on the screen, this is the person that taught me Google Ads years and years and years ago. And so in his honor, as he always wears that beanie, I am wearing my Sriracha beanie. So let's step back and make sure that we understand exactly how Google Ads works and what's going on behind the scenes when someone searches something in Google. What happens is what's called an auction. Okay, so we've heard of an auction where someone's selling cars and people are raising their hands and saying $100, $200, $500. 500. That exact same thing is going on in the background when someone types something in Google. So if I type in best online course platform, which is something that I run ads to, you can see right here, there's four ads, okay? These four companies. And what's actually happening is these four companies are bidding. They're raising their hand and giving Google a price that they're willing to spend for every click that comes from Google. So it's a little bit more complicated than, than just that one thing, but that is in essence what is happening, okay? Kajabi right here is saying, hey, we'll give you $1.50 a click, Google. And Teachable is saying, we'll give you 99 cents a click, Google, right? And all the way down here to where maybe Talent LMS is saying, we'll give you 10 cents a click, Google, right? And so Google says, okay, well, this high bidder is gonna go to the top. They're gonna get the best chance. Obviously, Google's here to make money. All the way down to here, where this bidder is obviously getting a lot less clicks, but they're spending a lot less on each of those clicks as well. Now, I'm gonna show you on the screen kind of how that auction plays out. So you can see here on the screen, this is kind of a little picture. It says ad rank, which we just looked. The ad rank is, is where you're gonna show up in the rankings when someone searches what you wanna show up for. The ad rank is determined by your bid, like we just talked about, like how much you're willing to spend times what's called a quality score. So Google obviously cares about making money, but they also care about the user experience, meaning the person that's doing the searching, they care that they have a good experience and that the, the ad that shows up is relevant to what they're looking for. And so they assign a quality score to your ad where they say, hey, how well does this ad tie into this search term, right? So for example, if, if we're making a search for online course platforms and someone makes an ad for um, keto or some kind of like weight loss program and throws it in there, they're gonna have a quality score of one, okay? Because Google says, hey, the person that's searching typed in online course platforms. They're looking for softwares. You ran an ad for a, an, a weight loss platform, not at all what they're looking for. So it says your quality score is now one. Now, if you look here at this kind of little mathematical algorithm here, that means if they've got a really low quality score, if they want to still rank in those top four spots, they're gonna have to do a huge bid. Right? They're going to have to bid 10 bucks or something in order to show up at that top spot because they've got such a low quality score. So this is really, really important for you to understand. If you don't get this concept, you will never be able to do well at Google Ads. So we're going to show you the math of it one time. Okay, so we know the ad rank equals the quality score times the bid, right? And, and that's where we're going to show up in the, in the ads. So if someone has a quality score, right? Um, ad rank equals, if they have a quality score of one, it's a terrible ad, it has no relevance to the person's search. They get one, you know, that's their quality score, times their bid, let's say they bid $10, okay? So their, their final score or their ad rank is 10, okay? That, that's one times 10, right? Equals 10, hopefully we can understand that. Well, let's take this with a different advertiser. This advertiser, they make a perfect ad, okay? Someone searches for online course platforms, they make an ad that's like comparing three online course platforms, right? The landing page is all about it, the ad itself just says that exact same thing, it's very, very relevant. So they get a quality score of 10, right? So now their quality score is 10. Now, that means they can bid $1, right? And they'll be have the exact same ad rank as the person that's bidding $10, which means uh, Google's gonna have to decide between those two, but those will be the top two spots. And one of them's paying $1 per click, right? They're bidding a dollar a click, and one of them's bidding $10 a click. This person could bid $2 a click here, right? And now their ad rank is 20. And so this second person, right, is able to get, for $2 a click, they're able to get, um, be the top spot and only pay $2 a click. This top person right here, they're in the second spot and they're paying $10 for every click because they've got an irrelevant ad. So you need to understand this concept and you understand this is how Google's algorithm works everything else is gonna be a breeze for you as we talk through creating our first ad. Now our whole goal here, right, is basically to make more off each person than we spend on a click for that person. So if it takes, 
You know, if we spend a dollar a click, then we wanna on average make a dollar 10 or $2 for every click that we get. So we're gonna be doing everything here inside of Google Ads with that goal in mind. Hey, I'm putting in a dollar, right? I'm spending a dollar on every click, but I'm making a dollar 50 on average for every person that clicks my ad. So let's dive in. We, we have the Google Ads platform right here, totally blank canvas. This is what it'll look like as soon as you sign up. And we're gonna start creating our first ad and talking through how all of these things work and what you should be doing. So the first thing you should know is the three things that we're gonna create inside of our ad, okay? So in a Google Ads account, we're gonna have different campaigns, and different campaigns are typically like totally different products, okay? So if I'm selling a chair and I'm selling a bed, each of those will be two different campaigns. Now, in each of those campaigns, we can create ad groups. You can see this is ad group 1A, ad group 1B, ad group 2A, ad group 2B. So these are all different groups of ads inside of each campaign, and the groups of ads are typically built around keywords that we wanna have the same ad, right? So for example, let's say campaign one is selling a chair, right? Well, our ad groups might be, hey, people that are looking for a good chair, right? Or the best chair. Um, ad group two might be, hey, these are people that are looking for the softest chair. Ad group three might be, hey, these are people that are looking for the best office chair, right? So we're breaking it into all these different categories of what people are looking for. And the reason we do that is in each of these ad groups, we're gonna create multiple ads to split against each other and see what does best, but we don't want an ad for the best office chair to show up in front of people that are looking for the best soft chair, right, or the softest chair. So we create ad groups and we say, hey, people looking for you know this exact similar thing, the softest chair or the office chair or the lounge, you know, lounger chair, whatever it is, we wanna be very specific and group them that way. So when we create ads, they only show up in front of people that are looking for that exact thing that the ad is about. So let's go in and create our first campaign. We're gonna go here, we're gonna type a new campaign, and we're gonna pretend that we're selling uh, Buildapreneur's course, okay? I have an affiliate marketing course. So we're gonna say, um, you, you can pick a different goal here. Um, I usually say website traffic or sales. If you say your goal is sales, you're gonna be able to down the road kinda get tracking and stuff set up so that Google can tell you every time you get a sale from its ad. So if you are trying to directly sell something like e-commerce or something like that, you'll wanna click sales. If you're just trying to get people to your website, like you're an affiliate marketer or somebody that, that doesn't necessarily have a product they're selling on their own, you might just go with website traffic. Next, it's gonna ask you the campaign type. Google's obviously got its fingers in a lot of different places. So this is just your straight search engine. What, what I just showed you where uh, we show up in the, in the search engine of Google, that's the one you'll probably use the most. Display ads, those go all over different websites. Uh, shopping ads, that's when someone types, you know, clicks that shopping link. I'll show you right here when they're searching in Google. Video ads, obviously YouTube, and then um, discovery ads. So you're, you're gonna focus on search. This whole tutorial is gonna be built around showing up in search, so we're not gonna focus too much on the rest of those. Obviously, we give it a website next. Now, we're not gonna talk about creating conversion actions inside this tutorial, um, but essentially know that Google can actually track and let you know every time someone buys your product and lands on a thank you page, and then you can see which campaigns are doing best. All right, so we're gonna name the campaign Affiliate Secrets, okay? That's the one product that I'm selling in this campaign is Affiliate Secrets, which is my affiliate marketing course. You go down one layer and you can see it says, hey, do you want us to show your, your, uh, your ad in other relevant places on random websites and things like that? I always say no in the beginning. In the beginning, we're gonna go super simple and just show up in the search engine when people type into Google. Locations, obviously you, you will uh, want to get a little more specific with locations. Where is your exact target audience, right? Uh, for me, I typically start with United States and Canada and maybe grow out from there. Um, but definitely remove some locations that you think you, you wouldn't be selling to. It's gonna default the language here to your language. That's fine. Uh, you can add another language if you've got customers that speak another language. And we're gonna skip audiences and go down to budget and bidding. So this is where you tell Google, hey, this is how much I wanna spend every day. Now in the beginning, I'd recommend starting small, okay? Whatever, you know, five, 10, 20 bucks a day to start. And we'll just say 10 for this tutorial. You can always scale this. So if you're putting in $10 and you're checking your website and saying, hey, I'm making $20 every day and I'm only spending $10 on Google Ads, well, you can easily increase this, right? You can say, okay, spend $20 on Google Ads and see if we get 40 and kind of keep raising that. But in the beginning, while you're testing and kind of figuring out what's working, start low. Next, it's gonna ask you, what do you wanna focus on? And we've got clicks here. It's got other things that you could focus on if you've added conversions and stuff like that in. Like I said, we're not gonna talk about that. We're gonna stick with what it says. Essentially what this means is, hey, we're gonna bid and try to get you the most clicks for $10, okay? The way, we, the way we do this is we're gonna try to get you as many clicks as we can for 
which means they might not put you in the top spot all the time, they might not put you in the bottom spot all the time, they're gonna kinda of shift you around and try to get you the most clicks $10 can get you. The last thing it's gonna ask you about is site link extensions or call out extensions right here. We're not gonna worry about it, but what those are is you can see in this ad right here, they've got their main ad at the top and then they've got four other links that a user could click. Those are called site link extensions and you can click that and add these if you want. Just note, unless you're uh, running ads to your actual company brand name. For example, I'm searching Active Campaign, and Active Campaign is the company that's showing up here. Unless you're doing that, you're probably not going to get the Silent extension shown. Google's just going to completely ignore them. So let's save and continue. And now it's time to create our first ad group. Now remember, ad groups are where we're going to put a bunch of different ads inside of it that are very similar, and they're all targeting the same audience looking for the same thing. Okay, so I'm not, if I wanna target somebody who's looking for affiliate secrets, for example, they're typing in affiliate secrets, the product name, I might make an ad group called affiliate secrets, okay? But I would probably make another ad group for people that are just kind of looking for an affiliate marketing course. They might type in, what's the best affiliate marketing course, okay? So I might make a whole nother ad group around those people that are looking for a good affiliate marketing course, but they don't actually know who I am yet. Can you see why the ads, you know, I might run three ads to each of those people, but can you see why those would be different? One, I'm saying, hey, it's me, Affiliate Secrets, Spencer, who you're looking for, click this. And the other one is saying, hey, you don't know me, but check out this awesome, perfect affiliate marketing course with lots of good reviews. So we're gonna go with that one. We're gonna go for people looking for the best affiliate course. We're gonna find relevant keywords right here. Okay, so you can see buildapreneur.com is already inserted in there. And now Google is gonna try to help you find these keywords, okay? And you can see it's already inserted, hey, affiliate marketing programs, best affiliate programs, top affiliate programs. You can see tons of different things that Google is saying, people are typing this in to our search engine. Would you like us to, to maybe um, target these keywords? Now this part is probably the most important thing you'll do when you're creating your Google ads, so please, please pay attention to this. You've gotta remember there's a billion things being typed into Google every day, right? Billions of things, different things all the time, and so it's hard to tell Google exactly every single word, right? I want you to target everyone that types in this exact phrase and this exact phrase, because there's a trillion phrases that people might type in when they're still looking for the best affiliate marketing course. So we've gotta be a little bit lenient with Google and tell Google, hey, you know, if it includes this combination of words, I wanna show up an ad. Or if it's about this subject, I wanna show up an ad. Uh, and and that, that gives Google a little bit of leeway. But if you do this wrong, you can have your ad show up a billion times for a bunch of things that no one, you know, that, that doesn't matter and people are not looking for an affiliate marketing course here. So I'm gonna highlight and zoom in here on this, uh, this part at the bottom where it says keyword equals broad match keyword, and then you can see that keyword is in parentheses, and it says equals phrase match, and then it's got a keyword in brackets, and that means exact match. So let's talk about what those three things mean. I'm gonna erase all this so I can do it with this one word. So let's look at examples of all these three so that you understand exactly uh, what's happening when you're typing them in. When I type in affiliate marketing course as a keyword that I wanna target into Google Ads, I can type it in three ways. Okay, you can see right there, I type in affiliate marketing course in quotations, and we'll zoom in so you can see those, and I put it in brackets, okay, and I can put it in nothing, or it's just affiliate marketing course. Now what these things do is it gives Google different amounts of liberty as far as going out there and, and putting your ad in front of, of people searching for things. So if I put it in these quotations right here, it means, hey, I want you to show this ad in front of anybody that types in something that includes this phrase, affiliate marketing course. So they might type in best affiliate marketing course, they might type in affiliate marketing course for beginners, but either way, both of those contained affiliate marketing course. Now, a more exact way would be in these brackets where it's called exact match. This means, hey, unless this exact phrase right here, affiliate marketing course is typed in with nothing before it, nothing after it, nothing in between it, just that right there, I don't want this ad to show up in front of people. So I just want that one very specific thing. And then that bottom one where we don't put anything around it basically gives Google liberty to do whatever it wants, to say, hey, Anytime you think anybody might be looking for anything affiliate marketing related, affiliate related, course related, I'm okay with you showing my ad in front of them. I'm gonna tell you right now, you will rarely if ever use this right here. And if you just type that in affiliate marketing course and run an ad to that, you're gonna be very unhappy with the results because you're gonna find your ad showing up in front of millions of different things that aren't relevant. So for this tutorial, we're gonna run ads to just affiliate marketing course inside of quotations, which basically says, hey, as long as what they're typing in includes that phrase, we wanna show up for it. So we can create a bunch of different ad groups, right? So I could create another ad group and say, we, you know, we're going for one where people are looking for an affiliate marketing course. Now I'm gonna go for one 
for people that are actually looking for my name, Spencer Meekum, because they're looking for me and I've got a course that I sell. There's a good chance they're connecting the two, right? So I'm gonna make an ad group around anybody searching for Spencer Meekum or who is Spencer Meekum or Spencer Meekum's course, things like that. And once I've kind of come up with all my categories here, I'm gonna click save and I'm gonna click continue. Now, as soon as we click continue, it says, okay, it's time to create ads for this ad group. So we've got a campaign. This campaign is to sell affiliate secrets, okay? Next, we've got an ad group, okay? And that ad group is looking for people that are looking for affiliate marketing courses online, okay? Now we're gonna start creating the ads for those people. So as we start creating your ad, I want you to really think about that quality score. Okay, so we've got people searching for affiliate marketing courses, right? So we need our ad to speak exactly to those people for Google to give us a nice low bidding option. So we're gonna erase everything that Google is inserting in here because we don't want to let Google ever be the default option. Trust me on that. So let's examine what an ad looks like and what different parts of an ad are. We're gonna type in affiliate marketing course in Google. Hey, and look, we've got three people running ads right now. LinkedIn being the first one. I can tell you right now, you do not wanna buy an affiliate marketing course on LinkedIn. <laughs> but let's examine the ad here, okay? So we already told you that these are site link extensions down here. We're not gonna worry about those. We're gonna worry about what's up here. The first part is called your headline. Now Google gives us multiple headline options and then typically it puts a dash in between them. So you can see this person's headline one is affiliate marketing course courses and their headline two is with LinkedIn Learning. Okay, and right here we've got affiliate marketing course, enroll now for a special offer, digital marketing certificate, NYU Tannen. Each of those is two different headlines being combined together. Then down here we've got what's called a description and each of these uh, can be one or two descriptions tied together depending on what Google decides to do. It's random, welcome to Google. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna start creating those exact ads. The first thing we wanna do is add our final URL. It doesn't have to be the homepage of our website, right? I would probably say affiliate secrets and send them to my actual landing page where I sell affiliate secrets for this ad. You can change the display URL. So if you want, instead of saying buildpremier.com, just straight, I could say slash affiliate secrets so they kinda of get the idea that they're going to the page about affiliate secrets. Okay, and then, oh, and it looks like it's not gonna let me do that, so we're gonna type in affiliate, and then type in secrets here. Okay, and now we can start creating the headlines. So my first headline might be affiliate marketing course. We're just gonna type in that, because you can see I've got a limit right there, and it's saying, hey, you're almost to that limit just by typing in affiliate marketing course. You're 26 out of 30. So that's headline one is affiliate marketing course. For headline two, I might say hundreds of, of five-star reviews. Okay, and I don't really do stars, but I do have lots of reviews. So hundreds of five-star reviews. And then you can see this little pin that keeps popping up here. I can click that and I can pin it and say, uh, hey, I want this to always be in spot one, or I want this to always be in spot two, or I want this to always be in spot three, okay? And for this one, I think I wanna, I usually like to control Google. So I'm gonna say, hey, I want that to always be in spot one. And then I'm gonna create another, a couple different options that they can put in spot two. So they could say affiliate marketing course, hundreds of five-star reviews, millions of dollars generated. That one probably won't do, might do great because people love that idea, right? Learn how for free. Something like that I might do. My course is not free. I'm giving you options right here. But now we've got this headline, right? And what it's gonna do is when people search, Google's gonna try, they're gonna put affiliate marketing course at the beginning right here. And then they're gonna switch out for the second one between those other three options, okay? It's gonna sometimes say this, sometimes say this, sometimes say this, and Google's gonna figure out which one does better. So now we're gonna move on to our description. And as you can see, it gives us a little bit more lines for our description. So I'll type in some options here, then we'll talk about it. So these are the two description options I came up with. Get access to Spencer's powerful new affiliate marketing course at a limited price, or millions of happy users, thousands of jobs quit, hundreds of success stories. Once again, not totally true. I don't have millions of active users. So once you've created your ad, you're gonna click save and continue. Once you click save and continue, it's gonna put your ads into review and Google's actually gonna go look and decide if they think that your ads are okay to run on their platform. Usually it takes about six to 12 hours to make the ad go live and then it's gonna start spending money. Google will start showing up your ads right here when people start searching for what you're offering. Now I wanna interject something here. Google Ads is extremely hard. Uh, it's much harder than any one YouTube video could ever train you on, especially if you're trying to not just create an ad, but you're actually trying to make money off that ad and not just throw money at something. So I showed you in the beginning the, the person Isaac that taught me Google Ads. There's a link down below to the training that I bought from Isaac that actually showed me all this stuff. It's extremely affordable and it's the best, most complete Google Ads training I've ever seen. So click that link down below if you're serious about learning Google Ads. Thanks so much for watching.